But we are starting out at audience insights. And the way to get that is facebook.com slash ads slash audience dash insights. And so basically it's going to bring up this page. Now what you're looking at is every single demographic on Facebook. So you can see that all of Facebook has 200 million to 250 million active users. The demographics are 54% women and 46% men. Now as you start to put like weather location, so I live in Phoenix, okay? And so basically this is all going to change. And so basically Phoenix audience is 53% women and 47% men. Um, so basically now Facebook is showing the demographics of everyone who lives in Phoenix, Arizona, 18, ages 18 and up, all men and women. And you could see what kind of job titles people have here in Phoenix sales is the number one. 25% of Phoenix is in sales. Now this is the most, the thing that I like to look at the most, it's called the page likes. And so basically this is um, the pages and interests that people have here in Phoenix. As you can see, 13th floor haunted house Phoenix is way up there. Um, the better the audience, um, the higher this infinity score. So anytime you are looking um, to for pages to involve inside your Facebook targeting, make sure that affinity score is above 100. The higher the score, the better. Um, so let's say, um, let's take away Phoenix, right? Because you are going to be targeting everyone. So let's, so now again, we took away Phoenix. So now this is everyone on Facebook. So you could see, you know, Justin Bieber is one of the top page pages on Facebook. Um, Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift, no surprise there. So we're going to come down here to where it says interest and you can see that interest gives you a lot of stuff. You can even go down relationship status, people who recently got engaged. Like if you click engaged, engaged in one year, six months, blah, blah, blah. Um, we can go, you know, through all of this. Um, one of the things, and this is like where you start to get into, you know, demographics, um, what kind of job people have, their education level. Um, when you start to put in interest, like let's say we can put in anxiety and depression, right? And so now everyone who's interested in anxiety and depression association of America, that's actually a really good, you know, place for you to start targeting. Check this out. So all of these have really high affinity scores. And so these are all target audiences that you can put into Facebook ads. That's going to give you, um, most likely very, very good, um, conversion rates and leads for your business. And so you can see that this is going to, you know, these are all pages. So once you start identifying them, now you can do, if you just want to do women, um, let's say you have an age range, um, you could do 25 to, you know, let's say 45 is like your demo. Some of this stuff is going to change. As you can see, like, um, like that, this has a really high affinity score for this demographic of women and 25 to 45. Um, like, let's say you're trying to target people who are interested in anxiety and depression. And let's say, you know, their education level is only high school, you know, or if you want grad school, you know, people who are in more medical professions and stuff like that. And you can actually do that. Um, you know, if you start typing in healthcare, medical services, um, sometimes, Facebook gets wonky like that if you start putting in stuff, but, um, I don't know why, I don't know why it did that. Um, but you can totally, you know, like, let's say, you know, you want to target, you know, parents who are suffering from depression, you can do that or parents who have, you know, um, just children between the ages, you know, adolescents, eight, you know, so you can see as you're typing, it's still all anxiety and this stuff is like all going to change. But if you play around with this, it's, uh, facebook.com slash ads audience dash insights and just kind of play with this and then you're going to the more you mess with these demographics and then once you um you can create several different audiences all you have to do is go up here and save as and then you can save it and you can see that i create a lot of different audiences of different people and so that's how you can save so that when you do and this is something that you could start doing right now before you even start doing facebook ads at least you could start saving your audiences so that when you are ready to do Facebook ads, all you have to do is um, you'll have these audiences already saved so that when you go to place the ad, all you have to do is pick whichever audience that you want to do. So anyway, if you have any questions, just uh, holler and I'll be happy to help you again. So awesome. Hope you have an awesome weekend.